Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today's video, I am going to share with you what our family picks are for our 2020, 2021 homeschool year. So if you wanna see this, then stick around. If you are new to my channel, I just wanna say hello and give you a nice warm welcome and thank you for stopping by. I just wanna tell you a little bit about myself so you can get to know me. Uh, my name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to five kiddos, ages 10, six, four, three, and 18 months. And on my channel, I love to share content on homeschool, motherhood, DIYs and faith. So if you like content like that, then make sure to subscribe below. And also don't forget to hit the little bell icon because when you hit that bell, it does notify you every time a new video comes out. I'm just gonna jump right into this. Uh, I am so excited about this year's homeschool and what I have picked for our group subjects. And the first one I'm gonna start with is this, the Playful Pioneer. I am so excited about this. So this is kind of our main um, curriculum, I guess you would say, and then we're just adding things into it. But it is the Playful Pioneer. Now this was a PDF download and then I printed it off and I spiral bounded it and I laminated the cover and then I just took a piece of cardstock and laminated it um, for the back just so it was nice and sturdy and I could use this uh, more than one homeschool year. We already did a full week of this and it was so much fun. I'm so excited, my kids are so excited. And I do have a video coming out of our first homeschool day. So be on the lookout for that, along with a fun Friday that we just did Friday. Um, so it might not be out for I think two more weeks, but I already filmed them and edited them. So they will be out in the next two weeks. So the next thing that we are doing as a family is gather round homeschool and this is the u.s mini unit for government i am so excited about this unit listen you guys i have watched rebecca spooner who is the creator of gather round i have watched like all her youtube videos like a long time ago and when she said that she was coming out with her own curriculum i was like so excited to try it out but the price point and then the printing it was just ah uh, i didn't do it so I just didn't want to purchase something and then not like it and then I spent all this money on it. I'm just so excited to get our feet wet with this curriculum and just to try it out. So I figured this would be a great thing. Since we're already doing the Playful Pioneer, which is geared toward American history, I thought this would be a great thing to add in and I will do a whole separate video of how I'm going to do both of these and how I'm going to use this uh, curriculum but I'm not using it how they say to use it. I'm gonna just tailor it to fit into our schedule uh, so I could do both of these. So I am so excited to try this out. So for our Bible, we are using a couple different things. Now, the Playful Pioneer, it does tell you to purchase these books, so I purchased them. So we have the Jesus Storybook Bible and then the Ology. Uh, so We've already started this one and it is so nice. I really like it. Um, so I'm excited to just continue doing this one and get into this. We have never read the Jesus Storybook Bible, but I've heard lots of people say lots of good things about it. The Playful Pioneer will tell us when to use both of these. So I'm excited. So the other thing that we are using currently for our Bible is this little Bible study. Um, it is called My Brother's Keeper learning to love your siblings god's way i'm really excited now this is from the lady from not consumed which makes me think dun, da, da, da. i did pick a winner for the organized homeschool planner so stick around to the end of this video and i will let you know who the winner is and then i will have you contact me and we can set up a way of sending this out to you. I'm so excited. So back to the My Brother's Keeper. This is a 20-day 
little Bible study uh, that you do with your kids. I bought the PDF download, but you can buy the physical copy. And there are three different levels, which I thought were really cool. This one is the primary level. So I am doing this with four of my kids and we just sit at the table and they each have one of these. We go over the thing and then they get to color or whatever. So three of my kids have this primary one. So I bought the PDF primary and then I also bought the PDF junior and they have one I think for teens. So this one is geared towards I think eight to 12, I wanna say. I think that's what it was so this one is for my 10 year old and it's pretty much got the same stuff in it but it this one is a little longer and instead of just drawing pictures they're going to be writing more so i really have been liking this we are on day four and then obviously to go along with this we are just using a bible this is just a King James Version Bible that I got for my son. We've been just using this one to go along, which how perfect is that, that it matches? <laughs> I don't know why, but I like matching. <laughs> Are any of you like that? You're like, oh, this matches so nice. So for the Playful Pioneer, there is a master book list that goes along with everything. And the first two are these two books from Julia Rothman. It is Nature Anatomy and Farm Anatomy. And these books are like 15 bucks a piece, but get this, I got a three pack. It came in this, it came with, um, we won't be using this one for this, but it came with Food Anatomy, uh, Nature Anatomy and Farm Anatomy. So I'm really excited about that. And I paid the same price I would have paid for two books. So this was $30 on Amazon. Uh, I think it was a deal. So I'm not sure if it will be like that. I will link all this stuff in the description box. Um, so be sure to check that out if you're interested in any of this stuff. And then the other books that were on the master book list for The Playful Pioneer are the Little House on the Prairie series. I'm so excited. Me and Nathan read Farmer Boy and um, on, the on the banks of Plum Creek uh, when we did My Father's World and we really loved it. And I never read this series before. I love reading to my kids and I wanna instill a love for learning and reading in my house. So I am so excited to do these as our read alouds and then which goes into the next thing that i'm going to show you and this is just something that i'm bringing into our homeschool uh it's not it doesn't go along with the playful pioneer but it is the tuttle twins uh book series and i am so excited about this because like i said we're already learning about u.s history and then we are doing the gather round government so i thought this would be such a great addition to our homeschool and I had bought in the law last year, but we never got to it. Um, but I figured what a great time to be able to do these this year. Uh, so I have how I'm planning to do this out, which I will do a whole nother video on, but I'm so excited. They were running a really great deal during the 4th of July. So this is when I got these books was for the 4th of July. I mean, they really had an amazing deal. So we have The Law, The um, the Tuttle Twins and The Miraculous Pencil, The Tuttle Twins and The Creature from Jelky Island, The Tuttle Twins and The Food Truck Fiesco, The, tw the Tuttle Twins and The Road to Serfdom, the Tuttle Twins and the Golden Rule. The Tuttle Twins and the Search for Atlas. The Tuttle Twins and the Spectacular. The Tuttle Twins and the <laughs> The Tuttle Twins and their Spectacular Show Business. The Tuttle Twins and the Fate of the Future. The Tuttle Twins and the Education Vacation and the Tuttle Twins and the Messed Up Market. So we are so excited. Now, when I purchased this amazing deal, they also had these books in the 
mp3 so it's like if I don't feel like reading the chapter or any of the book I can just play the audiobook so I got the audiobook of every single one of these and they also had these PDF um, little activity books to go along with it so I am so excited so I printed this out but it just has like I mean games and stuff in here uh, and even a little recipe. So this PDF comes for every single book. So you read the book and then you can do the fun activity book. And then, like I said, it also came with the MP3 audiobook. So I am stoked about these books. The next thing that we are going to be doing as a family is musical multiplications. I did show this last year and we only got through like two of the books. So we are going to try and get this in. Um, which I still have to plan on how I'm going to do that because I didn't even think of this and I just remembered it. So I do want to add this into our homeschool and I figured my, uh, my little ones love the songs in this so they can sit and listen to because they don't even think they're really like learning. It's just like a fun song to them. And then the last thing that I'm going to share with you um, for what we're doing this year is I got this ticket to ride first journey game. And I just thought this would be so much fun because this is also the United States. That's what the back looks like. So I thought this would be a fun little game. It says six and up. So my, I we will see if my four-year-old can play. He's going to be turning five, so he might be able to play this. Um, otherwise, my daughter and my son and I will play this together. But my four-year-old might want to try because he likes to play games with us. I also forgot to mention that I am going to be adding in some five in a row or at least trying to. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to squeeze that in. I want to get through the first couple weeks before I add anything else into our schedule or our routine so that I could just kind of get a feel. But um, I did already do some planning on five in a row. So we are going to do a couple books from there or at least try to. So we, we are going to be doing, these are just the ones that my library had. I am going to probably get one more off of Amazon if this works out. Um, but yeah, so we are going to be doing the story about Ping. We're going to be doing Kathy and the Big Snow. These are all upside down. Cranberry Thanksgiving. You guys, so I follow Abby from Rooted in Rest, and she always does this. And I didn't even know what five in a row even was. And then she continued to talk about it, and it just interests me more and more. And then my friend had it, so she was letting me use it. Uh, so then I was like, I would like to try this out because um, it looks fun, and I'm all about reading to my kids. The next one is Stopping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening, Grandfather's Journey, Storm in the Night, and Madeline. Now that's all the ones that my library had. When I start doing these, I'm not sure the, the order of these I'm going to be doing them in, but when I start to do them, whenever I'm done with the first one, that is when I'm going to determine if this is going to work for us or not. And if it does, I'm also going to be getting, I think it's how to make an apple pie and see the world because I think that would be fun as well. So I am going to be trying to do some five in a row as well. I'm editing the video and I realized that I forgot to mention the winner for the homeschool planner. So I'm gonna do so right now and the winner is Mama's Little Lamb. So please be sure to email me at rollingwiththerouses at gmail.com and I will get your information and ship this planner to you. But yeah, you guys, so that is what we are doing for our family subjects this year. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And also, don't forget to check out the description box where I will link all of the stuff that I can. Also, be on the lookout for my other curriculum videos coming out. I have about four more, four to five more videos on curriculum. And if you like content like this, then be sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you're notified every single time a new video comes out. All right, guys, have a blessed day.